Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3dgameman.com and today I'm looking at the SwiftTech H220X all-in-one CPU cooler. It comes in this great looking box, very informative. You've got a picture of the product on the front as well as features and specifications all over this box. It's packaged very well, a piece of styrofoam here at the top and all the goodies are below that. There's the all-in-one CPU cooler. the user's manual, and all of the materials needed for mounting it. Plus some thermal compound, as well as a fan controller. Now I'll show you what this is all about in just a second, but basically it's for just attaching a bunch of fans. Oh, and there's styrofoam at the bottom as well. So let's have a closer look at this PWM or pulse width modulation fan splitter. It comes with a serial ATA power lead and a four pin fan lead, which gets connected into the four pin fan header on the motherboard. It gives you the capability of connecting up to eight four pin fans. You can attach this using the included bolts and nuts if you want to, but they also have some sticky tape here so you can attach it to just about anything. Now this isn't your typical all-in-one liquid CPU cooler because it's not sealed. You can add extra components to the loop if need be. You can add, for example, a video card water block or a couple of video card water blocks or really it's up to yourself how many water blocks that you want to add to this. Buy some extra tubes, buy some extra fittings and the way you go. But this is like an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler in respect that everything comes together. Very easy to install as well. You've got the fans already attached to the radiator. You've got a reservoir, a pump, and a water block. So let's start with the fans. They include two 120 millimeter four pin PWM fans and these are mounted in such a way to intake cool air from outside the case. They spin between 800 to 1800 RPMs and they're not too loud from 16 to 33 decibels. They move a fair amount of air, 24 to 55 CFMs, and these are 12 volt. Now this is a quality copper radiator. You can see the mini fins, and it measures in at 247 by 126 by 115 millimeters. Here's their logo, and this is pretty neat. They have a clear window so you can see the level of the liquid inside of the reservoir, plus the action that the pump makes when it's pumping the liquid through out, as well as a level if it gets down to minimum or around there you should refill it and to refill it's very easy just remove this cap and fill it up where it needs to be and then replace the cap. Now take a peek inside of the reservoir when it's lit up. You can really get a quick visual indication as to how much liquid is in the system, plus it just looks cool. Now since this unit is not sealed and you can add other components to the loop, you need a very powerful pump, and they have that. This is their MCP30 pump, it's 6 watts, comes with a serial ATA power lead and a 4 pin PWM connector. And if you're wondering what this other lead here is, it goes into the reservoir to an LED. Now the pump speed varies anywhere from 1200 all the way up to 3000 RPMs. And it comes with a ceramic shaft as well as a PTFE bearing, so it will pretty much last forever. Now these PVC tubes are really flexible and durable, plus very thick. The outside diameter is 5 eighths of an inch, or 16 millimeters, and the inside diameter is 3 eighths of an inch, or 10 millimeters. And note how they get connected to both the water block, as well as the reservoir and pump on the other end, as well, they can twist, and the connectors, well, they are fantastic. They use screws instead of clips, so you know that the tubes are not going to be disconnected. Now have a closer look at the top of the water block. This thing looks incredible, very rugged. It also comes with a three pin power lead. And on the other side, a big slab of copper. It's very smooth, which will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. And if you don't like blue, no problem. You can do green, red, or white. And how you replace this is very easy. Just take this top piece off, then you put this piece down, and then the top piece goes back on. So just have a look at the different colors. You've got, again, blue, green, red, 
and white. And it looks even better when it's lit up. Now this is very important because you don't want to mount the radiator incorrectly. And on the screen you can see the correct orientations for the radiator. You can have it at the top, the back, or the front of the case, but not at the bottom. So pay attention to these radiator orientations when you're installing it. Finally, have a listen to the fans and the pump. Now I've been into water cooling since the beginning and back then let me tell you it was completely different than it is now. Not in the sense of the components but being all in one. This really simplifies things, believe me, because years ago you would have to, you know, research everything, you know, the pump, the tubes, the fittings, the water blocks, the reservoir, the radiator, and you know, all that kind of stuff, and if it would fit, etc, etc. This takes the guesswork out of it, plus it is super easy to install. If I was looking for a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler today, this would be it, because it gives me the flexibility of adding other components to the loop. Overall, this is without a doubt a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.